Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Create with Ella. Today is Monday, August the 7th, and this is a live show with a live chat. And if you're watching on YouTube and we get to a part that's kind of slow for you, just fast forward on. We'll never know about it. But if you do watch on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to leave a comment, I do read those. Um, we have people in the chat from all over the world. Ozzy Grant is from Australia, and we have some people from Canada, and we have some people from across the pond. So the bunny and the real bunny are here. No, just the real bunnies here, not the not another bunny. But anyway, so what I want to do first is I want to show you some things. Um, I think I explained to you guys that we have this event uh, every year in, uh, let me see, when do we have August, <laughs> I can't remember, in August called uh, Southern California Shop Hop. And what it is, is a group of stores in Southern California that participate in this event and um, give out prizes for different things. And they call it a hop because you go from store to store to store. And so this year there were 10 stores and my friends and I went to eight. So I want to show you the thing, some of the things I got from there and then we'll go right into making the cards. So each this every year they have a theme and this year the theme was TV shows. And I would show you the program but I had to turn in the, well they call it a passport. Um, I had to turn the passport in because they had to verify that you, uh, when you go to the store, the store stamps your passport. And then you turn it into your home store, which is the store you purchased it from. And they count to see how many you went to. And then your name goes in the pot to draw to win prizes. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I win some prize because um, I went to eight stores. Me and one of my friends went to eight stores and then me and uh, four of my friends, no, three of my friends went to four stores. It was a lot of fun. Um, we had a good time and we got to see things that we had not seen in our local store. So what they do is um, if you... Um, Spend $10 or more in the store, you get a make and take free that's related to the theme. And then you can, um, thanks Jen, you can purchase the second page. But I, I rarely purchase the second page because usually the first one's good enough for me. And at every store, we get our picture taken in front of the photo op. And then, so that's what I'm going to do with these. So the first one was, uh, the first, one of the first ones I'll show you is, I love Lucy, and some of you may know that my husband, thank you, thank you, the real bunny. Some of you may know that my husband and I call each other um, Lucy and Ricky, and it has nothing to do with anything except one day we just started calling each other Lucy and Ricky. So I do have red hair, not this kind of hair, and so um, I couldn't believe it when we went to a store and there theme was I Love Lucy. So it was really cute. So what I'll do is my friends and I took a picture at that store in front of their photo op. And when my pictures get here, they haven't arrived yet, I ordered them, then that picture will go here. And I'll put this one and another one on a 12 by 12 scrapbook page. I keep a scrapbook for girlfriend events and things like that. Birthdays, you know, th retreats, stuff like this. So this was one of the stores we went to. And then another store, their theme was um, Hawaii Five O. It is cute, huh, Jen? And this was their page, and the name of the store is Treasured Memories. And their um, photo op was, um, it looked like you were in a jail. And they, they had these signs like Book em Dano and things like that. So our picture will go right here on that one. So the, I haven't got them all put together yet. These are the ones I'm showing you, the only ones I've put together. And then another store was 
um, M-U-S-E-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E, Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, okay? And um, this was their, oh, and you also got a button. Hi, Beth. Um, you also got a button. And the, my buttons are everywhere. It just so happened this button ended up in this bag. So this was their, um, this was their, uh, page, for lack of a better word. I know those handcuffs are cute, aren't they? So like I said, the theme was uh, was um, TV shows. And then the last one I have to show you today, this was, this TV show I've never watched. It's called Once, Once Upon a Time or something like that. And this was their uh, page. I guess that's supposed to be the Wicked Apple. But everything was cut out for you. Uh, and some of them gave you a picture of what it was supposed to look like. Uh, I probably threw those part away once I got it done. Um, but if they didn't have a if they didn't have a, a picture in there with the in there, then they allowed you to take a picture of the one they had on display. So those are the four I have done, and I have four more left to do. And then um, at one of the stores we went to, they sell scrapbooking kits, and I do 12 by 12 uh, scrapbook albums. And so the store that we scrapbook out is called um, Busy Bees Paper Crafting. And so I had my birthday party there, and um, everything is cut out. They use the silhouette and do print and cut. And so everything's cut out in the bag, and then you get a picture to show you how to put it together. And if you, um, so here's the two pages. Here's the two pages. So if you wanted to, you could really make this in four page, into a four-page spread, you know, but I, I chose to make it into a two-page spread. That's how she had designed it. But I have a friend that's going to stretch it into, hey, messy blogger! <laughs> I have a friend that's going to stretch this into a four-page spread. Yeah. So, um... When we have, every month at the scrapbook store, my local scrapbook store, we celebrate the birthdays for that month in my in our little group. And then we had um, July 4th cookout, and we had scrap weekend, rather, and we had the store's anniversary. So I'm going to use um, these pages for one of those events. So, and the kits are only $10. So, I mean, you really can't beat it, right? So that was that, and I'm just holding on to these strips until I get through because I may want to do something with those. I know I lie like them too, and this is the bee that my, the lady that, at um, my scrapbook store, my local scrapbook store is called Busy Bees Paper Crafting, and this is the bee that she uses. So when we saw this, we had to get that. Okay, and then I bought some of these by Jilly Bean. These have been on the market for a while, but I finally just said I like them and I'm going to buy them. I put off, I know $10 is really good, huh, Jen? She makes the cutest kits. Oh, my gosh. So um, I put off buying these, and finally I, I said, you know what, I like them, and I'm going to buy them. So what it is, is it's a um, shaker card. I bought the teacup ones. They have them in different uh, shapes and stuff. And you put this, uh, let me make sure I get right. Yeah, you put this back here like this, right? See, it's got tape right here. No, that's not how it goes. Yeah. Yeah, that is how it goes. Let me make sure. 
scale. You put this in here like this, and you put another piece of paper, and you put your shaker stuff in there, and then you put another piece of paper here, and you take this tape off and adhere it, and it holds your shaker in, your shaker stuff in there. And then when you open your card, you have a sentiment. Oh, Jen, you should. <laughs> you should, Jen. Just for heck, and send it to Eileen and put a lot of pink flamingos in it. <laughs> or pink whatever. <laughs> so, you know, I like the teacup. So I thought that was cute, you know. Um, so I got some of those. Hi, Cherisha Cat. Cheshire Cat. Yes, yeah, Cindy said she used them one year to make apples for teachers, and it was really cute. So, um, well, excuse me, they say this is a coffee cup, but I'll use it as a teacup. But you could use it as a coffee cup. So you got quite a bit in here. You got, uh, let me see if it says how many. Six. Six for 429. So I like that. And then you got 429 for six of these. So that was fun. And I got some new dies. And if I showed you these, I apologize. Because I can't remember if I showed them to you. These are Elizabeth Craft dies. I like these kind of circles and things like this. I probably would not use this to put a picture in. That's not my style. But I would use it for decoration and maybe put some journaling in there or, um, I don't know, something else. But I, I, it's not my style to put a picture in there. But I just love the die. And it's different pieces. It's one die, but it cuts out different pieces. So you have to, um, I think it's one die. Let me see. I haven't opened it yet. It looks like it's just one die. Yeah, it's just one die. Yeah. And the large circle is four and three quarters. So it's four, this, from here to here is four and three quarters. Yes, they are, Jen. That's why I bought them. You're right. So, um, it's I kind of wish they were um, separate dies, but they're not. But it's okay with me. You know, I can live with it. And then these are um, squares, and they're stitched. Some have dots, and some have stitches. So I thought those were cool. And they start at one and a quarter and go all the way up to, I measured them the other day, five and a quarter. So this one is one and a quarter across, and this big one is five and a quarter. So I really like those. I thought those would be neat for, you know, I'm starting to do um, four by four pictures in my albums because not every picture is um, worthy of being 4 by 6 because sometimes you get stuff in there you really don't want in there and you cut it down anyway. So I thought, well, I like this. I like this for Madeline, matting. I like it for journaling. Hi, Eileen. I like it for putting embellishments on. I like for all that stuff. So I got that. And then I got this die, which I thought was kind of cute. 
Um, it's a little tag, and I like that. I thought that would be neat for cards or on a um, page for embellishment or just to put a little um, ephemera behind it or something. And then I like cameras, so I got another camera die. This is Spellbinders die. I knew you'd love that camera, and guess what? It was the only one. And guess where I got it from? Your favorite person. So this is the die. Isn't that adorable? And this is the smile. So isn't it a just, I just love the dot camera. Cindy and I, the messy blogger. Hi, Kamor. We love cameras. So they only had one of these, uh, Cindy. Doggone it. And then let's see what else I got in here. Oh, this was the button. And um, I didn't buy this. I already had it, so I don't know how I got in this bag. But when I use the intricate dies like this, um, and sometimes these small ones, but especially these intricate dies, I use stick it because then all you got to do is peel it off the back after you die cut it and you already have your adhesive. And I love that. You don't get, you know, have to put uh, wet glue or some kind around there and then it oozes out or some, you know, it's just too it's uh, crazy. So anyway, I love the stick it. And I was going to work with these dies this weekend, and I didn't. That's probably what I had in there. I like it too, Eileen. I like it a lot. Okay, and so I got that. And then my two favorite things that I found. Oh, I love it. I love it. Two of my favorite things I found. We went to this store. I cannot remember where it was. I've never been there before. It's called Stamp Fever. And all they do is stamping. And it was the cutest store. It was clean. It was bright. It was so cute. The lady was so nice. And her theme, um, her TV show was Murder, She Wrote, which used to be my absolute favorite TV show. But anyway, um, I, they had quite a few lawn fawn dyes. I did not buy any. Um, but they just, she, it was just the cutest store. However, I did buy two things. So this is a new company to me. It's called Foundations Decor. And they had all these different little things. Like they had this pumpkin, a turkey, a wagon, a cornucopia, and these uh, leaves and this um, acorn, right? Can you see this right here? The acorn right there. Focus. Come on. There. See the fall leaves and acorn? Okay, well, that's what this is. And you paint it, and then you um, put your paper of choice on there. And then you use the sander to take it, you know, to trim it down. And so what you do is, and I'm thinking about working on one of these on my show. Probably not, well, not today. See, today is the 7th, probably the 21st. We'll start this one. I have to find the paper first. So what you do, what I'm going to do is you have your paper, right? And so say you want to... Um, you want the paper this side up. Then what I'm going to do is one or two things. You can put it down, like you put the acorn down on this paper side, and you trace around it, and then you cut out. You know, or some people do it on the opposite side. It just depends on your preference and your paper. But I'll show you next time I stream on the 21st how I do it. So you take you take your piece, put it on your paper. And you trim it, right? I mean, you cut it out. And then um, you paint this whatever color you want it to be. And you only really need to paint the sides. You only need to paint what's going to show. Because the paper, you don't need to paint where the paper's going to cover, in my humble opinion. But if you wanted to, you could. <laughs> 
So you paint that, then you put your paper, then you use a, um, I use a wet glue, and um, you put, or you can put um, gel medium, you know. Anyway, then you put your paper down, and you've cut it pretty close. And if there's any edges that are sticking over, you just take this sanding file that looks like a um, nail file on steroids, and you just... Um, file it off. It's really cute. She had several of um, several of these in the store. So I got this one. I didn't get to see the cornucopia. She didn't have that one, so I didn't want to buy it. I have enough pumpkins. I don't need any pumpkins, but I did buy the wagon. So here's the wagon. Can you see the wagon right there, there's the wagon. Yeah, I know it's blurry. I just put it on um, autofocus. So there's this wagon. And they had um, this thankful. And there's a thing there you can put a little card in. Well, it's not blurry on my end. Okay, because I got it on autofocus. Thanks, though, Jennifer. And um, if you go to this website, Foundations Decor, they have a lot of other ones. Um, Cindy, the one that I thought you would like and that I am also going to get is, is this one right here. It says Home. Can you see this one right here? And then every month or every season, you change out this piece right here. Like a pumpkin, an Easter bunny a shamrock, a Santa face, uh, I forgot what Halloween was, candy corn maybe, um, a heart for Valentine. So if you go on this website, Foundations Decor, you'll see all the ones they have. It's addictive. See, foundationsdecor.com. They're out of Salt Lake City, Utah. So I got all these pieces for $20. There's a lot there, I think, for $20. So I thought that little wagon was stinking cute. That's right. Like, we need another project, right, Messy Blogger? <laughs> so that's all my goodies that I got. So I had such a um, really nice response over the doodle bug cards that I made the last time I streamed and I forgot to record whereas today I did not forget to record the recording is going so um, several people asked me if I would do them again because you know I forgot to record so I said oh yeah sure no problem so uh, also before I get started Eileen said that if I need to fill sleep time up <laughs> Oh, that's funny, Cindy. Eileen said, well, if you have any extra cards left over, Ella, would you send me one? And Eileen, I did. I got some stamps, and it's going in the mail. So I'm not going to tell you which one it is. It'll be a surprise. So Eileen, be on the lookout, probably towards the end of the week, because I don't know how long it takes. Some t My mama gets mail sometimes in three days and sometimes in four days, so go figure. But you have a card coming your way. And a few other people may have cards coming their way. You never know what's going to happen over here. So today we're going to make three more cards. And I already have everything cut out. You're welcome, Eileen. I already have everything cut out. And ready to go. So this weekend... You're welcome. Um, every Thursday I get together with two of my friends and we scrap at Scrapbook Store. And then this wasn't our monthly crop weekend, but one of my friends said, I've got to go and get some things done because I'm behind on my birthday card. So I said, well, I'm coming down too because I got some things I want to do. So her and I went down Friday and Saturday and... Um, worked on some birthday stuff. She worked on birthday cards and I worked on a Cricut project. And then I got these cards ready. So let the show begin. 
So I got everything cut out and now we can make the little card. So these are five by seven. Um, <laughs> these are five by seven, I'm pretty sure. Let me make sure. Yeah, five by seven cards. So the way it's going to go is we're going to have this piece here and this piece here. And then this will go down here. like that. I have to trim that a little bit. And then this piece will go like this. I think I'm going to put it crooked, a little crooked. I don't know. And then I'm going to pop these little coffee cups up like that. And this is going to say coffee. And then I'm going to cut out the appersand and you because they didn't have that in this collection. Okay? So let the fun begin. So I was at Jean's show for a little bit before this one, and um, they were having a debate over the oxides. It was kind of funny between um, Ozzy Grand and Eileen, and I hope they've agreed to disagree. <laughs> You don't need card making 101. It's real easy. You just get your paper. Well, I won't say it's real easy. The hardest part is, you know, getting, for me, is I see the paper and I think it's real pretty. And um, sometimes I get a mental block of how I want to design the card. And if I do, you know where I go? Guess where? Pinterest. I get a lot of inspiration off of Pinterest. And sometimes, um, I case it, which means copy and share everything, and I just remake what they did. Okay, so I'm going to put this here. Normally, I make uh, four and a, uh, A2 cards, which is four and a quarter, four and a quarter by five and a half, but these embellishments in this kit were so big, not kit, in this pack were so big that I um, made five by sevens. But normally I make smaller cards. I know you two love each other so much. That's why you go round and round. <laughs> now for here... I'm going to use some um, score tape as soon as I can reach for it here. Eighth of an inch score tape. So I think I, I mentioned in passing that I've been going to water um, exercise class, and I just really, really like it. I go from 8.30 to 9.30 in the morning, Monday and Wednesday and Friday. And then on Tuesday, I go from 9.15 to 10.15. It's a lot of fun. Boy, let me tell you, when you get out, about 30 minutes, you know you've been working out. I know. I know, Jen. I know. I know. <laughs> but she won't admit to that, will she, Jen? So when you're making cards, the thing to do is, I think, the best and easiest thing to do is to um, buy papers in a collection that go together so you don't have to think too much. You don't have to worry about finding the right shade of pink or blue or brown because it's in a collection so it's all going to match. 
To me, that's the first step. And then the next step is just to, I'm serious, just go on Pinterest and see how, type in the name of the paper collection and see how other people have grouped those papers together to get you, give you an idea or to get you jump started. And then once you've worked with the paper and made one or two cards based on their ideas, then you can just start putting your own patterns together. I mean, the bottom line to me is it's your card. And if you like it and you think it's pretty, that's really all that matters. You know, now others may disagree with me, but um, that's how I feel. If I'm making a card and I'm happy with it and I think it's pretty, then that I made it. I own it. I'm the boss of it, right? But some people may say, well, I would never put, and people have said, I would never put those patterns together. And my answer is, well, that's great. You know, that I like these patterns together. And, you know, you have to do what works for you. So that's the end of my discussion on that. Okay. So they also teased me at the store, my girlfriends rather, about my foam tape. But I use a lot of foam tape on my cards. So I went on Amazon and bought this welfare roll. And I need to put it on, um, let me see if I can find one. No, you know when you buy a normal size of, um, Um, when you buy a smaller size of foam tape, there's a little circle in the middle. Well, what I do is I put some of this on it and fill it up. I usually don't carry this big roll around, but I haven't got to do it. Come on, what got, what, put the link in. I want to see this journal die. Links are open. Put the link in. I'm dying to see this thing. So I'm going to cut, um... Some foam tape. Eileen, put the link in. We die, we're dying to see this die. Isn't that cute? We're dying to see this die. Alright girls, do I need to put you in your bedrooms? Okay, hold on. Hold on guys, I want to see what this die looks like. Oh, it is a cute die. It looks like a Midori. It is a cute die. Now why do you want Jen to buy that die? It is cute, I have to say that. It is. But why do you want Jen to buy it takes two minutes to cut it out and it will take Jen two hours to measure it? <laughs> Did you buy one, Eileen? Yeah, it's a Midori type of journal, that's true. She says it'll take you two minutes to cut it out on the big shot, but two hours to cut it out by hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eileen did buy one and she loves it. Well, maybe you ought to gift one to Jen. <laughs> maybe you should gift it to her. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to make it a little... Killy Whopper here, only because I think that this paper's cute and it can handle it. Oh, they're out of stock. Oh, I see. Well, someone said you can get it from Eileen Hall on Etsy. So maybe you should go on Etsy and buy one for a stink and die. Make it stink and die with stinking red. So now I'm going to use some um, clear Wink of Stella. And I'm going to go over the coffee part in the cup. And 
and then I think I'm going to go back here and I'm going to wink of Stella some little decorations back here like these little hearts some of the bigger hearts the coffee and the cups the coffee in the pot Jen, I think just to prove her wrong, you ought to make one without the stinking dye. I'm just coloring some of the little hearts um, and the bigger hearts with Wink of Stella. Just to give it a little bling in the back. Maybe I'll color this little kiss. And she's going to use Oxides and Magicals on the cover. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, you two children. Eileen, she said she made something um, without the dye ages ago just to prove to you she didn't need the dye. Okay. So one thing I do when I'm designing cards and I'm not going to assemble them right away, um, I take a picture with my, I lay them out just like they're going to look when I do assemble them and then I take a picture of them with my cell phone and that's a good tip too. put that there and then I think I'll pop this up too but I need to cut the word out so let me get the let me get my big shot oh yeah that's perfect so I'm just cutting out a piece of paper here so I can I'm going to use um, some Sizzix Thinlets by Tim Holtz. I'm going to use this Apersan on the Christmas set. Holiday words rather. And I'm going to use the U on the Celebrate. Oops. Celebrate set. So let me get my big shot. And I have my metallic plate. Oh, my metallic plate. Good grief my magnetic plate And then let me get the Apersan. Okay. Okay. 
Now when you use the Big Shot, you always want one plate, especially when you're using the Thinlets. You always want one plate, and I didn't follow that rule on this one, so I have to get another um, plate. But you always want one plate so that you don't cut on it. And that's to keep it even and um, smooth. It gives you better contact with the plate and it gives you a cleaner cut. And if it cracks, that's normal, especially if you have a new plate, a new acrylic plate. I meant to put stick it on the back of this and I didn't, but it's okay. I'll live. So I'm just using um, a um, paper piecer to poke out the paper, the uh, dot paper from the die. Second, guys, I don't want to put my die on the wrong place, in the wrong set. Then I'll be looking for it, and I'll be upset with myself. Okay. And then we're doing this one. Okay. And those go there. Let me move this out the way. Now this is a little, there's a color difference here and that may bother some people. They may want it to ex match exactly, but it doesn't bother me, so I'm okay with it. I'm picky too, Jen. I think Eileen's picky, she just doesn't want to admit it. So I'm going to use Scotch Quick Dry on this that I have in a fine line uh, bottle. I saw some beautiful dyes out there um, when I was shop hopping. I mean, gorgeous. I didn't have a need for them, but there were some pretty, pretty ones. So again, this is Scotch Quick Dry. I really should have put this on stick it, but oh well, too late now. The elastic joining metal thingies. What elastic joining metal thingies? You're talking about the elastic cord that you wrap around like the Midori and it has that like little silver piece that looks like a 
um, a thin piece of um, metal or something. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, yeah, the metal crimps. I don't know where you can um, buy them, but I know if you watch um, Ashley Hempal's um, you, uh, you stream or YouTube channel, she makes tons of Midori's, and she doesn't use those little things, and they're really cute. Yeah, I don't. I know where to find the elastic thing at Michaels, but I don't know where to find those um, those crimp things. But like I said, Ashley makes Midori's all the time, and she's um, Arthur's unknown, and she doesn't use those, and she makes some really, um, you know, cute ones. Or I don't think she uses them. Let's put it that way. You don't like the look of the elastic ties? Oh, you want the crimps. I don't know where you'd buy those. Did you look in um, where they sell leather making stuff? You might find them there where they find, where they make you know stuff the tools and stuff for leather making. Oh, Eileen just put you in a link. Yeah, but she wants the um, she wants just the crimp, Eileen. She doesn't want it. Um, I don't think. Jen, look at that link that Eileen just put in and see if uh, that's what you like. So now I'm gonna put some glitter sprinkles on here. Oh, that's not the color I wanted. Ah. I'm trying to decide what color I want to put on here. I don't want that color. There's no orange in here. I could do pink. Let me see what I have over here. I have these little hearts. These are uh little heart no I don't think you can buy just the crimps that's what we're saying Dorothy you can buy all oh you can never mind Eileen says you can buy the crimps okay I'm gonna use these colors here I like this color And it has green up there, so I'm going to use green. And 
no purple, but I'm going to use this one. There you go. So that's our first card. There's our first card, Coffee and You. Then I like to put a little something. I'm going to trim this right here. I don't like that. Well, you could do that, but Jen wants the crimp. There. Oh, my card's crooked. Why is that crooked? Huh, I guess it's made crooked. Jen's looking at a link. There you go. Coffee and you. So that's our first one we did today. Jen's over there shopping. Okay, so our next card, thanks Arlene, is going to look like this. Maybe I should put this board under here so you guys can get more contrast. Because my desktop is light. Okay. So this card's going to look like this. And I took um, a doily, one of Tim Holtz's uh, dies, uh, doily dies, distressed doilies, and I cut it um, like three fourths. And then this will go here. And then these will sit on top. Like this. Like they're on a little stand. Oops, this will come down. And this will be here saying you're so sweet. But we're going to stress that a little bit so it will show up. As soon as I find my, oh, here it is. Brush corduroy, which is this one here. So I'm going to use brush corduroy. Oh, that sounds like it'd be a lot of fun, Dorothy. So I'm just going to stress this a little bit, not a whole lot. If I can find a scrap piece of paper.
I didn't want it quite that dark. I may have to cut another one. I don't like that. It's too dark. Just a minute, guys. Just a minute. Tim Holtz uh, doily 661-497. So let me see if I have one in here that'll work. <clears throat> Not I'll cut another one. And put this over here. Kind of pretty. Kind of goes with that. See if I like this. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so we're going to use that color. And then I'll put this back in here with the dye, and I'll have it when I cut again. That's what the die looks like when it's in one piece. Hold oh, on guys, I gotta change glasses here. If you use a bone folder and do your cards like this, you'll get a smoother, you know, you'll get smooth out your tape underneath and you get better contact. Okay. It is. It's the um, Tim Holtz doily 661-497. 661-497. And that's what it looks like when it's whole. It's by Tim Holtz. It's one of my favorites. I use it quite a bit when I'm looking for a die. Just want to make sure I got room for this. You're so sweet. And then this will go here. So I want it to look like a little shelf, except I need to cut that a little bit shorter. No, it's not Eileen. It's not a pain. Don't go be and saying that. It's not a pain. Mine come right out. I don't have a problem. Mine just fall right out. I use the brush. I use this right here. 
the Spellbinders brush. Okay, I just want to make sure. This is the tallest one. Yeah, okay. What are you eking about? You better stop eking. She's over there eking. Eek! Probably because she sees pink. So I'm going to put some uh, Miracle Tape back here. Oh, a toothbrush. Well, if it's clean, Eileen, it wouldn't matter. No, they're not, um, Eileen. I think she told us before that, oh, she said they are, but their products are so limited. Okay. Where's my little scissor fine tips? So I want these to pop up because I think they'll be cuter than if I just put them flat. So I'm going to start by putting some foam tape right down here on the bottom part. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line these up on here the way I want them and then I'll put the card on the but I'm not going to press down real hard so I want them to look like they're sitting on a shelf hi Debbie how was your first day back with the teachers today Oh, that's down. Okay, so then I'm going to take this, take the back off, and I'm going to set that there like that. And then I'm going to put it here on my card. It's one piece like that. Okay, so let me put some more foam tape back here. Well, that's good, Debbie. Made it much more bearable.
Oh, I'm sorry, I'm off camera. I'm adding some more foam tape. <laughs> I bet you are. Bet you are tired. Okie dokie, so now let's put this down. I haven't pressed down yet. Okay. Ah, oh, I love it. Love it. Okay, and then my little thing that says you're so sweet. Thank you, Eileen. So I'm just distressing a little bit around the edges there. And then I'm going to put some foam tape back there. Thank you, Miss Jen. Nope, I like it better over here. Okay, so I'm going to get my Wink of Stella. And I, uh, this one is 98% empty, so I'm going to have to buy a new one. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to do the little strawberry. The heart. The little sprinkles on the donuts. Oh no, you know what I'm going to do on the donuts? Addie Rose. Addie Rose. What am I getting, Addie Rose? Addie Rose. Where's Addie Rose? Addie Rose, you need to tell everybody what this product is that I'm using. No, not stickles. Addie Rose knows what it is. Addie Rose isn't listening. 
They may have left to go eat dinner. Mini bling. <laughs> it's Bitty Sparkles by Close to My Heart. And I call them Itty Bitties. And Addie Rose just cracks up when I say that. So cute. Okay, where's my? Then in the hearts, I'll do the um, Wink of Stella. And then over here, um, I'll do the cake stands. And Wink of Stella, so they're pretty and shiny. Pretty, pretty cake stands. You should be able to, because you cut it out with the die. That takes what? No time at all? It depends upon how, um, you know, some people it takes longer to embellish than others. But, Jen, if you think it, um, if you think it through, I think you could do it, Jen, if you give it some thought before you do it. But I don't think you like doing that. I think you like going on the fly. So, but if you were to give it some thought about, you know, I'm going to use this paper, and I'm going to use these decorations, I'm going to paint it this color, or I'm going to paint it this color, and I'm going to embellish it with circles, I think you could do it. I know you could do it, but you like flying on the fly. I know you're a layering gal, but you could put like two layers on it instead of three. I think you could do it. Like I said, if you, especially if you give it some thought. Because the cutting out of the, you know, cutting out whatever material you're going to use to make the journal takes time. This way you'd have a die to cut out the material for the journal and I know, but what I'm saying is you're right. You can do it in cardstock and paper in 5 minutes. But but what I'm saying is you could cut out you could cut it out with the die on um, with cardstock and then you could layer whatever you want to do. If you can do it with cardstock and paper in five minutes, you can do it with that die. Because with the cardstock, if you don't have the die, you got to do all that measuring and then cutting and yada, yada, yada. How many are you going to make? 
How often would you use the dye? You got to think about that too. That's what I think about. How often am I going to use that dye? So I'm just putting some Winka Stella down here to make this party. And then I'm going to put some more little things right there. So, Kamor, what are you going to put inside of it? You said you're going to use it for Christmas gifts. What are you going to put inside of it? Yeah, right, Debbie. But Eileen, now that's not fair. If you know that she can't do it or anyone can't do it in five minutes, you're setting her up to fail. <laughs> so that's not fair. Let's not tell her that, you know, it can't be done. And then she tries, it can, you know, let's not set her up for failure. I mean, if it can't be done in five minutes, then we shouldn't challenge her to do it in five minutes. No, Eileen, we shouldn't. So, Kamor says she'll make some inserts or pick them up at Michael's. Okay, Kamor, so what will the inserts be used for? Like grocery list or shopping list or something like that? Oh, I see. Okay, so here's card number two. Now I'm going to tilt the card and tell me if you can see where the Wink of Stella is at. Can you see where the Wink of Stella is at? Okay, so that's card number two. And now we're going to make card number three, which involves a stamp. Okay, so card number three is made, we're going to make it using this stamp by Simon Says. Thank you, Jen. I love the itty bitties too, Jennifer. <laughs> They're called um, Bitty Sparkles by Close to My Heart, but I, I call them itty bitties. So this is the die we're going to use. We're going to use this one and this one and this one. Okay, the coffee cup, this one and this one. Okay, so I need to um pick some paper this is the one thing i didn't do for the um piece right here so hold on just a moment let me look at something real quick
Let me look at something real quick, you guys, while y'all decide about June's die. I'm a look in just a second. I know I have it in here somewhere. Okay, here it is. Let me see. Okay. Okay, so I need to find a little piece of this, which I have. And I'm just looking through the paper over here, guys. Maybe this one. What's the background? That one? Okay. So first we have to stamp. Okay, Dorothy. Okay, so first we have to stamp. We'll make the coffee thing out of that one, and we'll make the cup out of this one. So I'm going to put two stamps on one block. Night, Debbie. And I'm use, going to use black archival ink. And this is a new stamp, so I'm going to stamp first on a plain piece of paper. Hmm. Why isn't that working? I just need that part right there. Well, that's better. Well, I think it'll be enough for me to see. Maybe I shouldn't have two on. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, it doesn't like two on the block. Okay, that's fine. So this one's, this, whoopsie daisy, I can't, 
Kiki. We're going to use this for the, the this part of the cup. Okay. And we're going to use the hearts for this part. Perfect. Okay, so now we just have to cut out this part. Hi, Kiki. Okay, so we'll set that there. Okay, yeah, go get some clothes on. Now I'm turning the paper, not my hand or the scissors. This will give you a much even smoother cut okie dokie that's that now I gotta get a white piece of paper be right back I thought it was out of white cardstock. So now we're going to stamp this on white cardstock again using black archival ink. Perfect. And we're going to stamp the coffee cup again with black archival ink. Perfect. And now we're going to cut those out. Again, I'm moving the paper, not my scissors or my right hand. I think she just got up, Eileen.
Okay. And now we'll do this one. Just cut, cut, cut. Okie dokie. Oh, here's another little die I got. Cottage Cuts. Check that one out. Isn't it cute? It's pretty small, huh? Isn't it sweet? Yeah, it's just one die. That's right. At first, when you look at it, it looks like it's two. But it's just one. You can either put the latte on there or leave it off. Yes, it is fussy cutting, and I really enjoy fussy cutting. It is, isn't it, Eileen? Pretty cool. Look at there. Isn't that sweet? Okay, and then we'll take this one. I like fussy cutting. Beth, do you like fussy cutting? Thanks, Eileen. Okie dokie. So now we can um, assemble our card. You do, Beth? Oh, yeah, me too. I like it. Before I do that, I want to put these pieces down first. I enjoy it. I enjoy fussy cutting. Some people do not, but that's okay. Teach his own, right? It's enough pie for everybody. I know, it's cute, huh? Thanks, Kiki.
I do this so that my paper and my tape make good contact because you know I can't stand to make something and then have the uh, thing fall apart. Or lift. Oops. Okay. Alrighty, and then these go um, here, and now we got to get our little saying that says, Coffee and friends make the perfect blend. Coffee and friends make the perfect blend. And we're going to do that in black art archival ink. And ladies, when you use these fine excuse me, fine lines, make sure that when you're not using the when you're not applying glue, you keep that tip in there because it will clog up if you do not. And if it does just run it under hot water. I just want to stamp off on this as it's new to make sure I get a good impression. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Coffee and friends make the perfect blend. Isn't it sweet? Now it has three little dots, I mean three little hearts I could stamp under there, but I'm going to put these little hearts under there I think. Well, they keep running away from me. Where did they go? just had them. Okay guys, hold on. Oh, that's craziness. They fall on the floor. Oh, they're upside down. Okay. So I'm going to pop these up. See, I told y'all I loved popping stuff up. Just love the extra dimension. Oh, that's funny.
Okay. So now I think I want them to go like that. Sweet, sweet. And then up there, I'm going to put three of these. Thanks, CB. I do too. I think it just looks a lot better than if it's, you know, laying flat. I try not to make it too thick because I know the post office will charge us an arm and leg. So let me put these back in here and I'll show you guys. Here you go. Coffee and friends make the perfect blend. Isn't that cute? I love it. But I think it needs an itty bitty over the eye. And friends. Me too, CB. I do. That's why I bought this big welfare roll of a uh, foam square, foam tape. I think I'll make those a little shiny. Yeah, it's a dead soldier. I definitely need to buy another one. I know. I know. And I'll put it on one of those smaller rolls. You know, I'll transfer some onto a smaller roll. But I haven't done that yet. And you know, you can take an alcohol marker like a Sharpie. And you can color these, uh, this bling that I'm putting on here if you want to do that. So there you go. See the bling I put down there and then I put the Wink of Stella on the card. I like it. Okay. So let me get these. Let me clean up my desk here. Yes, I do too, Al, uh, Eileen. Let me 
K. Yes, it does. It works really well on um, pearls. So there's our three cards. Yeah, you buy the clear um, um, bling and then you color the whatever color you want them to be for your project. So there's our three little cards. And I just remembered I didn't put anything on the inside, but I will do that before I give them to my friends. Thank you so much, Eileen. Thanks. So thanks everyone who joined me tonight. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for spending some of your afternoon or early evening with me. And um, I don't think anyone, I don't know of anyone that's streaming tomorrow. If you guys do and you want to put their link or say who they are in the chat, that's great. On Wednesday, Zandra streams on Wednesday night. And then Jean will be back on Thursday. Um, and I think Jen, I don't know if Jen is streaming Thursday night or not. Yeah, I remember the day, I was watching that when Jen made those uh, pony beads. I was watching that show live, it was funny. I think Jen's getting dressed. <laughs> okay, guys, well, you have a great evening. Again, thank you so much for joining me, and I'll catch you um, on the next stream somewhere along the line. Okay, good night, everybody.